information. How can I help you? Um, we're just calling here um, to find out uh, the process of paying off our mortgage. Okay, Roxanne, so you're calling today to pay out the mortgage? Uh, yes. Okay, are you planning on paying it with your own money? Are you selling your home? Uh, buying? own money. Own savings, own money, yeah. Okay. okay. So to do that, what you would need to do is send a request by email. Okay. Awesome. 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 Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. What are you doing? Woo, I get the money. For what? For the mortgage. Pay off the balance. Hundred forty nine thousand. Woo! The last remaining balance. Here we go. Oh, yay. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amazing. Here we go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm super excited for those who are in our community. You well know the blogsters I have in the building. So I'm super excited. Thank you very much, Devon Luxane, to accept my invitation. So for those who is your, if it's your first time to see me, my name is Dorothy, originally from Uganda, a proud digital entrepreneur so i'm super excited that i'm working in the comfort of my home and yeah i'm super excited so i'm gonna we're gonna have a little bit for the introduction of our guests that's Lokshana and dev all right hi dorothy uh, uh thanks for having us here yeah it's always You're a pleasure welcome. it was a pleasure to uh to do this to to give back um do you want us to talk about a little bit about our background or our, mm -hmm. uh, Yes. So, so we are, we I, I'm originally from the Philippines. I moved in uh, Calgary, Canada, in 1996. My background is engineering, and prior to being a full time online business owner, I was a general manager, and, and I do this full time now. Yes. Uh, for me, I also moved here from the Philippines in 2004, and I took paralegal because uh, at that time I wanted to be a lawyer. And um, prior to the online business, in 2018, we started in the online business in. October 2018. Before, prior to that, we were um, I was working in finance, um, so that's where we were. And then after 29 months, that's when I became full time to support my husband on this business as well. So now we're doing this full time. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! So now you're full time. I'm super excited when I saw when you're announcing you're a mortgage free. I'm oh. like, wow! This is this is what our community does. So for, if you're there, if you haven't started, just get a cup of coffee and listen to what Dave and David they are going to share with us. So actually, let me let me go straight to our first question. I'm just, I'm just going to take you a little bit faster because I know you are super busy. All right. So my first question is, why did you start this online business? Yeah, that's a, a very, very good question. Um, and I, we always share this when we were interviewed that we before this online business, we were already been in the entrepreneurial journey. So um, you know, when I met Roxanne first time, uh, you know, we saw each other was in a business, right? Mm -hmm. Prior to the online business, we, um, we failed actually in 24 businesses. We shared this before. And, um, and the reason why online is because when we saw the webinar, uh, we knew it was different, um, instantly because it talks mm -hmm. about three pillars. And one of the pillar is really teaching you how to get customers sustainably using social media and most of this the, the business we've, we've done um we didn't we didn't have that so that's one of the reasons why we said you know what um this is a, a a great business but one of the reasons why we started the online business as well a long time ago uh, uh, the journey of entrepreneurship is because uh we wanted to retire your mom right yes um we wanted to retire our parents uh for myself because when we moved here from the philippines i saw my parents how hard they work and how much they gave up the house um, in the Philippines, how they gave up their career literally to uh, for us to have a better, um, you know, better um, future here in Canada. And I promised myself that, you know, I wanted to help them in the retirement. But I realized soon that when, you know, when 
you're in the workforce, um, you know, it's your job, even though we have great careers, great income, but it's just enough for the two of us and our future kids at the time. So good thing my husband, when I told him about my dream, he said yes to that. It's because he doesn't have his parents. He's, he's too, too, his mom and dad passed away early. So um, that's the reason why we realized that, you know what, we had to do something different, um, not, not just in our in our career but we have to do something on top of it so yeah. that's why we started that's, online. that's our why yeah that's our oh, reason wow that's amazing um, i'm just excited you know most of their spouses like mostly men they're super skeptical when it comes to that and you can end up like for me when i started my business when i shared it it's like mm, that's a scam that's a scam so um when i see like couple when i see men when i see dev how you guys you're locking it in our community i'm really super excited and then let me go straight to my uh second question it's like how how do you know if the business is legit how do person know that our online business is legit and what is it all this business about yeah, that's a very important question, especially if you're going into business or right? any business. Uh, that's why I, we always tell people, you know, you have to do your due diligence before mm -hmm. you get into any business, including our online business. So before we started the online business, we didn't like jump in right away. We actually did our due diligence. That's why I give you, we give you 30 days. And what we found out is that the people that are on the webinars, the people that were doing coaching calls with us, they're actually real people. Yeah. So they're not hiding behind you know, uh, a website that we don't know who they are because, you know, we even put our Facebook profiles. You look at them, they're just you and me. You know, they have kids, you know, they, you know, they, they, they live in Canada, some live in the U.S., right? So that's one thing we found. They're actually real people, right? Mm -hmm. and, and the second thing is that, um, you know, wherever you are, you you actually pay taxes in, uh, you know, in, in, in the income you make. So, and we all know that if the government wants a piece of, your money right uh not only does it become legit it's you know it's 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 part of the uh, uh cra and 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 there's a lot more things when you do your due diligence right um yeah yeah, found, right? yeah like for me i was skeptical um because you know we've been doing different kinds of businesses prior to the online business and i <laughs> thought it's you know it will be the same that it will fail us but in 2018 that's when dave showed me you know uh he said oh just attend the, the webinar and in the beginning i didn't want to to look at it because i didn't want to be so excited about it mm -hmm. and it took him maybe four months just to show me like you know the webinar and finally when i saw it i saw real people normal everyday people people like us that are immigrants mm -hmm. um older than us uh, some of them have more kids than us and like you know some of them doesn't speak much english and they're getting the results that we want quitting their jobs paying off their homes buying their homes traveling without worries and that inspired me and you know really um like um taught us that you know what this business is legit and now we've been doing this for over five years and for the last five years we've been paying taxes for it for our income right so and the most important thing is that when we cash the checks <laughs> it actually cashed right it actually paid <laughs> it actually paid our our cars it actually you know bought us to travel trips that's the most important thing you know all our checks cash for the last five years <laughs> oh wow that's so interesting so actually when did you start the online business october 2018 2018 so october 2018 from 2018 till the date you paid off your mortgage within that period of time wow sure. That's amazing. It's 10 years, 20 years to be people to pay off their mortgages. All right. So everybody who is watching us, thank you very much. Oh, my coach is here. I coach Angela. We will see you live. So, oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, Sheila watching from the USA. Oh, coach, everybody is here is watching. This is so amazing. All right. So let's go to our next question. Do you think, um, so, do you need any uh, do you have to sell product do you have to recruit people because most of the people are very skeptical they are like oh this is a pyramid we have to recruit people we have to sell product so do what is it all about this business do we have to sell this product do we have to recruit people how could you um elaborate about that uh, question if somebody like if that they're afraid of starting the online business just because of that then the bank seated they're like oh this is not for me i cannot like i don't i don't know how to sell product or i cannot recruit people 
this is a very good question because when we started, we, you know, we, we also asked the same questions, but we know exactly how this feel. We felt the same way, but what we found is that, you know, in, in, in the webinar, it talks about, uh, we, there's only two ways to really acquire customers, right? First is through prospecting. And I know a lot about prospecting because prospecting is, you know, friends, family, you know, you, when I was a, a sales manager, I would knock on doors, I would cold call, right? That's one way. The other way is through marketing, right? In our business, we don't prospect, we market. In fact, we use a strategy called attraction marketing, which means that we use, you know, Facebook or YouTube to, to advertise and we attract them to our sales funnel. And the funnel itself will do all the explanation, right? All, all the selling, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? So we do acquire customers, but we don't prospect. We market in social media. That's yeah. what we do. And for the last five years, you know, 90, I would say 98% of our business came from advertising, right? Mm -hmm. uh, do have a little bit of warm market because they approached us because they saw our, they saw our results, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they saw the transformation of the business, like your life transforming. So basically it's to attraction marketing. It's not yeah. you going to convince. So that is not it. We don't have to sell products here. We're just doing what we call an attraction marketing. So, okay. So, okay. If somebody is busy and this person is super busy, it's like, oh, I'm a doctor. I'm a nurse. Oh, I have three jobs, four jobs. I really cannot start this online business. What do you advise those kind of people? What is exactly... Is it that like if you're busy, you cannot start up this online business? Actually, the more busy you are, the more you become successful in this business. Wow. Yeah, like busy people or busy, productive people makes time for the things that matters to them. So you it's really, yes, it's really prioritizing. If this is important for you, people will make time. It's the same with when we started, we have our corporate jobs, right? So both of us are busy. And mm -hmm. then, so we don't have much time. Our time is only after work which is you know after five after six p.m and then in the weekend right um and then when we had our our son when we have our son right he's now two and a half years old right so that becomes more busy right and of course mm -hmm. we're also active in our community in our church right so really you know and of course your friends or families right so everyone is busy right and we can really totally you know um um, relate to people that are busy, but we realize that, you know what, if people see the bigger picture, um, then they will make time. So for us in this business, when we started the online business, we do this business in the pockets of our time, meaning to say in our break time, in our lunch time, weeknights, um, weekends, we sacrifice for it. We said no to the other things for us. Like we said no to some of the parties. We said no to some of our hobbies or recreational because we realize that, you know what, we just have to sacrifice for the next 18 to 24, maybe three years, two to three years of our lives, and then it will pay off, right? It will give us more freedom. So you really have to, to ask yourself, what are you willing to give up to replace it with something, to replace it with a business, right? So in this online business as well, what really inspired us is that we have a lot of uh, mentees, people that we mentor that they are busy. Some of them have three kids right and um one lady that's very successful in our in our mentorship group um katrina coach katrina um she's actually started when she had her third son like one month old right yeah. and she said i only have limited time so from 10 p.m to 1 a.m that's where she does her business right um and then she she did that and now she like she's been doing this for four years and she's making, making over six figures a year, right? Mm -hmm. So there's so many, um, so many stories of people that are busy, but they made the time. So it's really up to the person. Yeah, actually, that's definitely, I agree with you. And, and to be funny that most of the busy people, sometimes you are working for somebody, you are not working for yourself. But in our business, this is where you are working for yourself. You are built what we call a wealthy generation for your family. Even your great, great grandkids, they can still enjoy your energy, even if you're not there one day, one time. All right. So now the other thing, so for example, um, if the business is legit, our business is legit, we always say it's legit, it's legit. What exactly do you have like, um, uh, what could, how could you tell somebody that do we have to pay taxes? What kind of taxes do they, you know, some people, they really 
uh, skeptical when it comes to that. They are like, oh, when I make these three, six figures, I have, um, um, they are going to take a lot of um, like tax out of me. So can you elaborate about that? How it, it is it? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not an accountant. Yeah. We don't really uh, advise. give advice on it. It's just yeah. our personal experience. So basically, you're self-employed, which means that you know yeah. they give you all the money, right? And then you deduct all your expenses, and whatever's left, that's what you pay taxes on, right? That's how the taxes in Canada works. I don't know in your country how it works. Um, this exactly, is just... that's how it works. So basically, and, and again, it's in the book of Robert Kiyosaki. You know. Talks, they talked about the cash flow quadrant. The good thing about becoming a business owner is that, you know, as an employee, right, you 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 make money and then they take the tax right away, right? But in as a business owner, right, you make the money, you deduct the expenses, whatever's left, that's what you get taxed on, so that you have more net at the end of the day. So, um, there's a book called Eight Secrets. Eight Secrets Revenue Canada doesn't want you to know, and one of the secrets is that almost all individuals should, should have a part-time business. The reason why is because your day-to-day -day expense now becomes tax deductible. So that's from the book, right? Mm -hmm. uh, putting the book. So, so what it means is that you know, if you have gas expenses, you know, um, if you have you know uh, utilities. utilities, right? You know, all of that. Internet. Yeah. If you're just an employee, you can't deduct that. But if you're now a business owner, you can, according to the book. Again, I'm quoting a book because I'm not an accountant. I'm not. A, so pick up that book. That's what the book says. But from experience as well. That's what we're doing. And of so. course, you have to find your own accountant. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, you know, check your own, you know, tax loss and all that um, in order to to um, to, you know, to um, apply that tax deductions. Right. So for us, that's what we do. And we've been doing that for over five years mm -hmm. and many, you know, it is legit because we pay taxes for it. Right. OK. Yeah. Perfect. So it's legit. We have to pay taxes here in the U.S. I received my 1099. Yeah, it's, it's a 1099 in Canada. I think it's a T4, right? Oh, yeah, T4, yeah. 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 yeah, it's legit. We always receive those tax information, and then you file for your tax with any tax expert. So that is not our job, but we can guide you on how you can go through it. You just have to look for a person who can file for you, the tax expert. But every business, as long as you, they're going to provide you those forms for your country, wherever you are, so the business is legit. And the other thing, this is my best plan. What do you love about this business? <laughs> um, we can talk all day about what we love about the business. <laughs> but um, aside from financial, right, um, of course, the financial it has given us, you know, so much freedom. Um, also, we paid off um, over 86,000 of consumer debt, so we're debt free. So it took us about 16 months to do that. And then after two, after in 2020, 2021, we bought our new home. So it took us th under three years to pay off the home. So that's the biggest blessing. Um, it allowed us to um, retire our, 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 our mom, our parents. Um, so now she's no longer working. So she's with, um, you know, she can spend more time with us, with the grandkids. So that's really priceless. Being able to travel, um, you know, and not use a credit card and just pay pay cash, right? Um, that's really amazing. And also just having the time freedom to be with our son. Um, and I think that's really priceless for us, right? Yeah. yeah, that's so nice. That's so wonderful. Like, I'm just super excited from 2021 to 2023, almost like three three years, right? You and paid off the mortgage. Yeah. Under three years, yeah. Almost wow, years. that's amazing. All right. So, and the other thing, so if somebody wants to um, to join the online business, how how do they start? What do they supposed to do? What are the steps for them to uh, start their own online business? Yeah, so you know, for the for the people that are tuning in, you know, when we started this business in 2018, just a bit of perspective, we were in 86 thousand dollars in consumer debt. We failed in 24 businesses, and worst of all, we got evicted in the place that we're living in. So we were in a bad situation. Yeah. I mean, you know, we were lost. We didn't know what to do. And Roxanne prayed a very powerful prayer. She said, Lord, heal our finances. And she saw an ad. And a lot of the online business owners are saw an ad. So the first things first is to watch a webinar. You know, if you have not watched a webinar, it gives you a 90 minutes of just a, a, an overview of what it takes to start an online business. So that's the start because 
if you were gonna take do any business or even start a new career you gotta go to the orientation gotta find out what it's all about right so start there right and after that you will know if this is a fit for you or not right and then there will be instructions there on what to do to move to the next step so if you're watching this live or replay the first step is dorothy has a website click that link put your name and email and then you will find out in in the 90 minute webinar if it's if this is for you or not and that's what we did and it changed our life just clicking that link you know in 2018 following the process the rest of the history we're here yeah. uh five years later wow that's amazing thank you very much so actually even today it's tuesday there's a live webinar at 5 p.m pacific time so don't miss out you will get to get more information on how you can start up your online business so the other thing what is the last word you can um you can give to those who are seeing like uh watching us for those who are what is the best what is the word you can leave for them yeah like for the people that are watching live mm -hmm. or in the replay you know, think about your dreams right now. I know some people, you know, forgotten their dreams, but all of us have those dreams that God has um, given it to you, right? And whatever those dreams are, you're supposed to make those happen, you know, those happen in reality, right? Because, you know, we believe that if God has given you those dreams, he will provide all the resources, all the tools, all the money, all the time, all the talents that you need to make those dreams comes true you just need to take that action and not be afraid of it right and the only way to 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 do that is to take that small action it could be just watching that workshop right and you will be in good great hands you have great mentors mentors and coaches with you and for us that's what we did you know if we didn't do that then we wouldn't have this kind of freedom Oh, exactly. Thank you very much, Luxana and Deb. I really appreciate for your time and hope my viewers, you're going to find out on how you can start your online business. And thank you. Thank you very much, Solomon. Thank you for, for watching us wherever you are. Victoria, Angela, my coach. That's my coach, by the way. Yeah. And thank you, everybody here. I see Sheila. Thank you very much. Best decision I made. Wow, this is it. All right. Okay, thank you very much. And bye-bye, everyone. For those who are watching the replay, see you then. And thank you very much for coming, Deb. And thank you. Yes, bye. Thank you, bye-bye.